Let's continue our discussion of uh, uh, Haar wavelets, and this is part 7, in place fast inverse Haar wavelet transform. We'll start with a uh, uh, simple derivation and quick derivation of uh, inverse uh, formulas, the formulas used in the uh, inverse uh, transform. This is uh, an in-place um, uh, fast Haar wavelet uh, transform, inverse. So um, we'll start uh, with uh, two uh, formulas that allow us to um, compute uh, fast uh, Haar wavelet uh, transform, uh, the forward, not the inverse, but the forward. Uh, so um, the value uh, a sub k at level L is obtained uh, from uh, uh, the two previous uh, values stored at positions a uh, sub 2 times k and um, a um, sub uh, 2k plus 1. So they're basically uh, uh, two values that follow each other. That's the kth coefficient at level L. And then the wavelet coefficient at level L is um, mm, uh, uh, obtained from the same two values, uh, 2 sub k and uh, 2 uh, uh, and, and a uh, sub 2k plus 1 both at level L minus 1. Um, uh, well, it's just uh, we uh, compute the uh, difference and then uh, divide it by half. So now uh, to do the reverse, uh, to go in the reverse direction, uh, we have to compute um, the value of uh, uh, A sub uh, 2k at level L minus 1 and then the value um, a sub uh, 2k uh, plus 1 at level L minus 1. So essentially from the current to the uh, previous. And uh, the way that uh, these values are derived um, is that we simply add uh, these two above equations uh, column by column and um, thus we obtain uh, uh, the values. So um, if um, uh, we want to apply that, uh, we have to be careful uh, about the level, uh, okay, the, how we denote the uh, levels, right? Because in the uh, equations, uh, we basically go from uh, L to L minus 1. However, um, when we actually go and implement that computationally, that's not really um, uh, convenient to actually start from non-zero and go to uh, zero. So typically the implementation proceeds from zero uh, to um, uh, uh, the required number of levels, either going forward or uh, going in the inverse direction. Uh, but the formula still stands. Uh, you always go from uh, uh, the current to the uh, to the previous. So um, for um, mm, uh, uh, Okay, so if we add uh, a sub k uh, and uh, c sub k, so we get um, uh, the formula for uh, the coefficient stored at um, position 2 times k of the array at level L minus 1, and you can see our, uh, watch our previous screencasts on this topic to understand uh, the levels and, uh, and the numbering of the, of the levels and the positions of k. And then if we subtract uh, the corresponding columns uh, in the above two equations, we get uh, the value for uh, a coefficient stored at position uh, 2k plus 1 at level uh, L minus 1. Okay, so this is plus a sub 2k plus 1 at L minus 1 and divided by 2 um, and then plus uh, a sub 2k plus 1 at level L minus 1 uh, divided by uh, 2 and that gives us uh, the formula for uh, a sub 2k plus 1 at level L minus 1. 1 is, uh, so the, the above uh, gives us the formula for the even uh, placed coefficients and the below formula gives us the formula for the uh, odd placed uh, coefficients. So at position, uh, at consecutive uh, positions, so 2k and uh, 2k plus 1. So let, to, just to recap, uh, the even place coefficient a sub 2k at level L minus 1 and uh, the odd place coefficient at position uh, 2k plus 1 at level L uh, minus 1. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, let's uh, uh, do some uh, quick examples of the um, uh, in place uh, fast. Um, uh, uh, okay, uh, first we apply the um, uh, fast uh, in place fast uh, Haar wavelet transform going essentially going forward, and then uh, apply uh, the in place uh, fast inverse Haar wavelet transform essentially. Uh, going backward and restoring the original array. So let's say that our array is uh, the first array is uh, seven and three. We worked with this array in a couple of previous um, screencasts. So let's apply uh, um, in place fast uh, higher wavelet transform, uh, just going forward. So um, at level one, we simply compute uh, the uh, the first coefficient is the average. Right, uh, the first two values, and uh, the uh, second element of the array is uh, the wavelet transform. So how uh, the value uh, change, the averages changes from the first half to the second half, and this is simply um, seven minus three divided by two. So if we plug in the values, we get seven plus three divided by two as the first element of the array, and seven minus three divided by two as the second element of the array. Okay, so it gives us the value of 5 and 2. Uh, 5 is the average and 2 is the wavelet. And that will be at level 1. Okay, and then let's uh, uh, apply the in place uh, fast inverse uh, higher wavelet transform to this array. In place, right? Using the uh, above equations that we just defined, except that we are just going to go uh, from level uh, uh, 0 to level. Uh, level uh, one in this case because there are only mm, uh, one application of the uh, in place inverse fast hard wavelet transform so at level zero we uh, go uh, from the a coefficient and the wavelet coefficient which is equal to five and two and um, um, all we need to do according to the formulas on top of this uh, page is that we um, uh, will add the uh, wavelet coefficient to the average to compute the first element of the restored array add the wavelet, the corresponding wavelet and that's the even position and in the odd position, in the first position we uh, simply do it the subtraction it subtract um, the wavelet from a sub zero And that gives us 5 plus 2 and then 5 minus 2. So um, 7 uh, and uh, 3. Okay, let's assume that our array is 7, 3, 4, 10. And uh, we'll do uh, in place fast uh, HAR wavelet transform, which is essentially uh, compute the HAR um, wavelet coefficients. So um, there are two levels, uh, two applications, because uh, the, uh, the, the number of elements in the original sample uh, is four. So at the first level, um, seven, we compute seven plus three divided by two, seven minus three divided by two, that's the first wavelet. Then four plus 10 divided by two, and four minus 10 divided by two, that's the uh, second Mm, a coefficient and wavelet coefficient uh, correspondingly, and then um, the gap at level two is um, uh, two. So five um, plus seven divided by two. Uh, two is left alone. That's the coefficient from the previous uh, uh, level wavelet coefficient, and then this is uh, five minus seven divided by two. That's the mm, wavelet coefficient at level two and minus 3 remains unchanged, so we get 7, 2, minus 1, and minus 3. And we have to, uh, that, that's the array, uh, and uh, that's the input to the inverse um, uh, uh, in place fast HAR wavelet transform, so that's, um, uh, which can be done 
by applying the above two uh, formulas, the well, the, the the two formulas on top of the page. So you just uh, we just have to be careful about keeping track of the gap uh, between the elements. So the gap uh, is uh, the first value of the gap is uh, two, because because it's inverse, right? Uh, like when we go forward, the gap is one, and then it's two. When we compute the inverse, the gap is two, and then it uh, gets down to one. So. Uh, 6 minus 1, uh, 2 remains unchanged, 6 plus 1, mm, minus 3 remains unchanged, so we get uh, uh, 5, 2, 7, 1, and at this level, uh, okay, at the second level of application, the gap uh, uh, is halved, so it gets, uh, becomes 1, so uh, 5 plus 2, 5 minus 2, uh, 7 um, uh, plus minus 3, and 7 um, uh, minus minus 3, so the restored sample is 7, a three, four, and ten. Okay, and then uh, let's do um, another example. <clears throat> this is uh, eight uh, uh, element sample, familiar from the previous screencasts. Uh, so let's uh, compute the in place fast higher wave with transform uh, regular, uh, just to compute the higher wave with coefficients. So we have three levels because. Uh, the value, uh, the uh, length of the sample is eight, and log two of eight is uh, three. So let's um, do the gap size. Uh, the first gap size is uh, uh, one. So we just uh, each pair of consecutive elements gives us the a coefficient and the corresponding wavelet coefficient, um, and that gives us uh, four one four minus 2, 9, 1, 11, 0. Okay, so this is uh, uh, at the end of level 1. Then the gap is reduced to, um, well, and increases actually to 2. So, and uh, at level 2 it gives us 4 plus 4, 1 remains unchanged, 4 minus 4 divided by 2, minus 2 remains unchanged from the previous level, then nine plus eleven um, divided by um, divided by two one remains unchanged carries over from the previous level nine minus eleven divided by two and um, then zero remains unchanged from the previous level so that gives us four one zero minus two uh, ten one minus one and zero so this is this is level level two. Okay, and then the gap finally at level 3 um, increases to 4. So all we need to do is compute 4 plus 10 um, over 2, that's the average, and then 1, 0, minus 2, and 4 minus 10 divided by 2, that's the coefficient at that level, of the lowest frequency. So, and that gives us the uh, array the sample uh, converted by the in place fast higher wave with transform to be equal to 7 1 0 minus 2 minus 3 1 minus 1 so let's do the inverse uh, in place fast higher wave with inverse um, so the gap size is 4 we we'll start with the gap size of 4 Then the gap size is 2. And the gap size is 1. Okay, and the um, original sample is restored. Okay, in the next screencast, we'll continue with the Java source code. Thank you.